In this video, we're going for a New Hampshire day hike to tackle my first ever presidential peak on the channel. But of course, while following a supposedly terrifying route to the summit. Man, look at this place. Haven't even started. It's not even 8 a.m. Already a zoo. Cars as far as you can see. Woo! Some new friends wanted to hike with me. And now we enter the tunnel of forest until we get to the alpine zone. This trail is nice in that it starts off rather flat and gradual as you make your way across a maze of crisscrossing trails as we make our way to the actual mountain. And now we've begun our official ascent. It's about to get real steep real quick. Fall is coming.
I mean, these trails that are just big piles of rocks sure make it easy to follow. No way you're going to get lost here. Just, just, just go where the rocks are. Easy enough. I was actually recognized in real life for the very first time while completing this hike. So if you see me out there in my classic green shorts, feel free to say hi, it really makes my day and I always love saying hi to people who enjoy the videos. have our first view of the day. I'm really loving this uh, blue haze. It's so freaking pretty. I can't wait to get to the summit. It's going to be so good. A small little technical scramble here. First glimpse of what's to come. And there it is. There's Mount Adams. Mount Madison. Oh geez. I got so much freaking farther to go. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Welcome to the Alpine Zone. You might be thinking now that we're in the Alpine Zone, we're so close to the summit, just a little bit farther, right? No, you have almost an hour of hiking in the Alpine Zone before you get to the summit of Mount Adams, way over there in the distance on the other side of the ridge. The whole hike up this ridge, you have Mount Madison rising to your left.
the New Hampshire North Country looming behind us. Ooh, that's a steep way down. Maybe that's why they put this one on the terrifying 25. Down, down, down. Holy cow. I won't lie, I went a little bit slower in this part because the views are just constant and so much fun to take in the whole time you're hiking in the Alpine Zone. It's just one giant boulder scramble from here on out. Look at how far we've come. Wow, oh wow. But gosh darn, I'm still not at the summit. All these summits up here, it's just one large freaking boulder field. Hop on the rocks. It looks so close, but it's gonna feel so far. Sweet victory. I don't think I could have asked for a better day. Not too hot, not too cold, and that visibility for freaking days. 
honestly the ideal day and not too sunny uh, you can just see for miles And welcome back and boom just like that the second tallest mountain in the entire state of New Hampshire goes down for the count we're getting pretty close to that tallest summit aren't we that was Mount Adams via the airline trail located near Randolph New Hampshire in the presidential range of the White Mountain National Forest Mount Adams is one of the presidential summits that is on the New Hampshire 48 4,000 footer hiking list and the steep portions and knife edge of the airline trail counts as an elective on the terrifying 25 now, Mount Adams was 5,774 feet tall, and the out and back airline trail was around seven and a half miles total. I found the difficulty of this trail rather standard. There was one main steep section on the way up to the ridge line, but then once you get above the tree line, it is still a little bit steep, and it is surprisingly long. Once you get to that point, you think you're almost at the summit, but it just keeps going. But there was no main technical elements. It's just an overall long trail, so that would put this one at my difficulty designation of a hike and a half. Now, if you have been so inspired to go check out this trail yourself, first definitely hit that like button and then check out the custom all trails map with pictures and landmarks that I've created and linked in the description down below. Now, am I simply gonna recommend this mountain because it's called Mount Adams and my name is also Adam? Duh, yes, of course I am. What were you thinking? Oh, but in all seriousness, this mountain was a lot of fun. The views from the ridge line once you're in the Alpine zone, they can't be beat. You get that great view of Mount Madison, and then once you get to the top of Mount Adams, what a nice view of Mount Washington and the rest of the presidential range. And the airline trail to the summit is not that difficult, and it's the most direct route. So if you want to get to the summit in the least difficult, most direct way, the second tallest mountain in all of New Hampshire, yes, I would recommend the airline trail to Mount Adams. But hey, that's just my opinion. Now go get hiking.